the age-old question, mouse and keyboard or controller? Each has their benefits, and depending on your playstyle, you might prefer one over the other, although one is going to have a uh, distinct advantage in certain areas. We're going to dive into the how and why each of these has their benefits, and what might be right for you right now. So while the controller is the epitome of convenience for gamers, uh, if we're talking about it in the sense of first person uh, or first person shooters, there's one decided disadvantage and it's in these sticks right here. So when you're trying to find a place on your game with a stick by aiming, what you're doing essentially is looking for a point on that ball with that analog stick. So think of it like taking a pin needle and rolling it around a marble trying to find a point in that 3D space. It is not terribly accurate and it is not the easiest way to do it. Now where this does work great with controllers is every single button you would ever need is within an inch of any one of your fingers and that is a great thing. But which one do you prefer? If you're playing on PC, I would suggest doing this, uh, as you probably have Steam. Go to your settings, controller settings, and set your dead zones up. Now, keep in mind, if you're playing on an Xbox Series, um, you, this will be available to you in the Xbox Series app, or something similar to it will, unfortunately for PS5 uh, players, not yet. Uh, hopefully down the road. But what you're going to want to do here is uh, set these values to something that feels comfortable to you, but what you have to remember is that the little black dots in the middle of these circles are an indicator for where your sticks lie by default when you're not touching it. And you want to make sure that when you lower these dead zones, you're not lowering them too far uh, to a point where the little black dots are outside of the circle area that you're making smaller or larger. Very important because you might end up a stick drift if you lower it too much, but this does give you an opportunity to give yourself some more sensitivity uh, that may be allowed to you uh, from base game settings. Now, if you're not 100% familiar with what dead zones are, essentially what it means is the lower the dead zone, the smaller amount of pressure you have to put on the stick to elicit some sort of action. So. Typically speaking, most people are going to want that as low as they can possibly get it um, to a point that feels comfortable. And what that means is it's just it's going to give you more control over how little or much movement you have to make um, while playing some sort of game. And if you're trying to make small movements at one point and then a faster turn at another point, uh, a larger dead zone will allow you to move slower with a smaller amount of push and faster with a larger amount of push and the greater the dead zone is the the less control over that sort of a movement you're going to have now as you can see here i'm playing a little bit with controller and um, one thing you'll also notice with, with controller that is a uh, definitely a positive is that movements are just overall smoother and part of that's because they're not as fast uh, and just won't ever be as fast uh, because you're moving your character's point of view with a device that is always going to be smaller than the screen that you're looking at and the space on that screen that you're trying to move. So where mouse and keyboard uh, comes up a little short compared to the controller is in the keyboard. Now, you can get great with a keyboard, uh, but you're never going to have the, the ease of functionality as you do in a controller when all the buttons are spread out over uh, a number of different buttons uh, that you'll have to press with one of five fingers potentially. And while, again, you can get good at this, it is definitely not the easiest way or the most convenient way to do that. Um, the mouse, however, is where we win with this setup. And as if you remember the analog sticks being like a pin needle on a marble ball, well, aiming here is essentially finding the spot on the space of the screen on your mouse pad with your mouse. And it is that simple, and it really is that much better. And the easier it is, typically speaking, the better it is. Finding a point in space on a 2D object such as a mouse pad is always going to be more efficient, more accurate, and easier than trying to find that exact same space on a much smaller 3D object such as a trackball. So, knowing that, we know that mouse is better for aiming, undisputably, and we, th I think we could fairly say the controller is better for moving uh, than maybe a keyboard is but what do you prefer do you prefer the smoothness of the controller or do you prefer the accuracy of the mouse uh, with games like call of duty warzone here a lot of players have switched over to the, the controller at least for the game specifically because of how well aim assist works in the game and you could argue whether or not that's a good thing or not but ultimately it's going to be up to you what do you prefer do you, is the movement being smooth more important is the quick ability to aim more important it's a age-old question and i may not have answered a single one of those questions today but maybe we made your decision on what you prefer a little bit easier and maybe 
gave you just a little bit of backstory. So I appreciate you guys stopping by. Thank you so much. Have yourself a great week, and we will see you down the road.